lot of weirdos. Hey man, hey man, leave us alone. for being here. This is a song called Tears of Korra. This is about some of the people that were with Moses. But some of the people with Moses thought they were too cool. They thought they were all holy. And they came to Moses. They said, Moses, we're holy. Why do you think you're so cool, Moses? God said, Moses, get away from those people, Moses, because I'm going to fry them. A lot of Satanists are more right to the gospel than uh, people that grew up in Christian surroundings or Christian family that never accepted him. And uh, the Satanists are hungry for it, and they want it, but they, they don't think that they can have it. And Satan tells them every day, God doesn't want you. You're nothing. And... Uh, that's not true, that's a lie. There's, there's nobody that cannot come to the Lord after they've fallen. And uh, God reaches His hand out to everybody. Is, is unbelievable uh, how encouraging to us. The one, some, they'll even draw pictures. This one here, look at this. This is, a, this is a letter from Tim Tyler. Tim, if you're watching this, you know, I'm sure we've thanked you by mail, but thanks again for this lovely letter. The, the mail has been so encouraging over the last year. People write in and uh, express their uh, views on the record and, and uh, how that maybe it's touched their lives. And for us, that's what it's all about. These are tornadoes, which um, I have quite an interest in. Oh, and um, the new album, Psycho Surgery, has kind of a Spanish instrumental on it called, what's it called, Victor? Viento Borrascoso. That is a perfect pronunciation, I'm sure. And if it's not, Gary would have corrected him by now. C. Sí. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. I've learned how to speak Spanish with Victor on certain occasions. Viento Borrascoso. C. Sí. Which, which stands for devastating wind. And the spiritual application, actually there is one on uh, tornadoes, is that um, it just shows that God is in control of everything on this earth, the physical realm, um, geology, the stratosphere, the atmosphere, everything God is in control of, whether we acknowledge that or not. And tornadoes is probably the most extreme example on this earth of God's awesome power displayed through nature.
in essence, we, you are home. In a sense. You're home. Okay. So now I live in West LA. Okay. Which is a very normal part of our <laughs> That was a quality shot. Yeah. I come from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, which is right on Lake Michigan. It's a very nice city and state. Uh, does anyone know Milwaukee is the blank capital of the world? Beer. Well, on pretzels, that may be true. cheese. That may be true as well. Uh, something to do with billiards. Stones. Bowling. No. Bowling. Bowling. There it is. Absolutely. Milwaukee's the bowling capital of the world. It's an interesting fact. Who's five? Who's ten? I'm ten. I'm just gonna go around here. Is that your ten? It is mine. Okay, what's this one? Um, this one is called, if I miss it, it's called Tears of Korra. If I make it, it's called You Get What You Pay. Okay, so it's going to make the one in the corner. The ball is going to come around here. Are you guys ready though for sure? Yeah. Okay, okay, because everything's on. Yeah. I'm gonna go start talking now for like two minutes and then you like walk on or what do you want to do? Well, John knows what to do. Well, John Stewart? Like, okay, I'll talk. Gonna have I, intro okay, I'm gonna start talking for like about two minutes and then he's gonna intro. milk whatever he's gonna do and then you guys gonna be on. So I can start talking right now. Yeah, we ready? Victor, you, you only got three strings on your bass. You're right. <laughs> You're right. All right. Okay, I'm going to start talking. I'm, I'm safe to do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Kind of tell us okay. where we're all from. Make it real clear right. when you're done so that John can hit the intro. Well, John is doing your talk about you, right? I'm just going to say yeah. you're the most shredding band in the whole world and that type of thing. Oh, no. no, no, you may. Deliverance is the most shredding band by myself. <laughs> Victor, I need a hat. I need a hat. Wait, hey, you know, what, what's the matter with this?
You can go in the studio, in the mixing room. Here's Bill by himself. Hi, Bill. I'm showing him where all the money's going to. That's why we're not making any money. Right there. That's where all the money's going to. Who are you pointing at? Me or the board? You. Oh. <laughs> and all, it's all the marble stuff and all this place, real marble, of course. It's our producer. See you, Bill. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, also, we got to show Ted's car. That's where our money's going to. Ted's <laughs> car, <laughs> where it's going to. Let's go, let's go. Can we, can we take this outside? Is, is there enough light out there? Yeah. On the way out to Ted's car, we're going to notice off to our right that Ted's doing another interview here for another radio station. Ted lives on the phone. Out here, you're going to see the lovely Knott Avenue in beautiful Garden Grove, California. It's about 12.30 a.m. right now. And it's about three degrees outside, but yet Ted is cool and he has the top down. So buy another tourniquet record. We need to support we need to support this this ongoing ministry. Ted's automobile. <laughs> A guy that we met at a magic convention in uh, San Diego. And what Devino does is, as the people that are into Tourniquet and have heard our, heard our music know that a lot of the songs are really allegorical. I mean, everything from Harlot Widow to uh, Test for Leprosy, um, all these kind of songs deal with specific things that you can visualize in your mind. And we thought with the addition of Devino performing on stage, he does some uh, really wild illusions, if you want to call them that, on stage that uh, kind of exemplify the lyrics. And it's, it's pretty wild. We really recommend uh, live that people come and check it out. Uh, it depends if we play at night or not. Divino is definitely a <laughs> something you got to see at night. Same pathways, and it needs to be 
rerouted it by the renewing of our mind. of that uh, I think kind of shocked some Christian people because they I don't think they were quite quite ready for a Christian band to kind of come out with like you said a social issue uh, and singing up uh, singing against uh, an, an issue such as that but um, but I, I think that we've represented the Christian view of animal rights uh, if you can say animal rights I think we've done just that <laughs> Create your 
because if you don't have God, you still have nothing. You know, people that aren't into drugs and aren't, aren't into uh, sleeping around every, every night with a different person going to bars, they're, they're into uh, sports and trying to, to make a all stage of something in high school, or they're into being the most popular or being into the best looking or whatever. And all of that leads to the same road. It leads to the, the knowledge that there's, there's gotta be something more and that's that void that uh, the Lord puts in all of us and that's, that's there when we're born. And until we give our lives to Him, it's gonna be there no matter what we try to fill it with. Yes. 